became interested in radiology when I was in high school and I injured myself and I had to have an x-ray and I talked to the technologist that was taking my x-rays and I really thought that would be something that I would like to do. So I um, went to see my guidance counselor and she helped me find a school. One of the main goals of a radiologic technologist is to provide images for a radiologist. A radiologist is a physician that is trained in interpreting the images that we create as the technologist. There are five different modalities and they are uh, diagnostic radiology which is the everyday radiology tech that you see um, taking images of a broken leg or arm. Then there's a CT technologist that takes pictures our images uh, with a computerized generated picture. Then there are MRI technologists and those images are taken with a magnetic frequency. There's an ultrasound technologist who provides images with uh, sound. And then there's a nuclear medicine technologist where those images are produced after you're injected with a radiopharmaceutical. So there's a lot of uh, advancement. There's also a lot of um, opportunity to cross train. One of the best things that happened to me over my career was is that I was um, doing a routine exam on a, on a patient and when I was reviewing the images um, I noticed something that didn't look quite right to me so I took it to the radiologist and he uh, pointed out that it was an aneurysm and we could possibly have saved the gentleman's life. We're a small community hospital so our technologists interact with um, a lot of different types of physicians. We're also a teaching school, so there's some interns and residents. A typical work day is you'll report to work. There'll be a board with your name and what your assignment for the day is. You could be assigned to the ER room, you could be assigned to surgery, you could be assigned to the fluoroscopy room for the day. Right now we have people that work for eight hours a day, 10 hours a day, or 12 hours a day. So there's, you know, there's uh, a schedule that would meet everybody's needs. I think you need to be in really good physical shape. It's a very physical job. Um, you know, you have to help patients um, to get up out of their wheelchairs and onto tables, get them into the position that you need to have them in to get the images that you need for the physician. As a manager, I think I look for people that are self motivated, self-starting, that have a real desire to help people um, and a going friendly personality. You know, your, part of your job is to put somebody at ease. They're in a hospital, they don't feel well, and a lot of it's scary and, and quite confusing to them. So you really need to be able to talk to them and make them feel comfortable with you and, and your professionalism and your abilities. What I would recommend to a high school student taking a look at radiology as a field of choice, um, number one, make sure that you're fluent in your sciences, your biologies and your chemistries. As with a lot of other healthcare careers, those are very important when working with the human body. Secondly, uh, math is very important because you do take care of your own equipment and those equations are going to be important in this position. The salary ranges for a uh, rad tech is anywhere between 30 to 40,000 per year. You need to have at least an associate's degree uh, with a, a local community college or university. You can get a bachelor's, but most hospital settings will require only an associate's degree. For more information about radiology positions at Summa Health System, they can either give us a telephone call into Human Resources or take a look at our website. Our website has some detailed information on there about positions as well as the ability to apply for those positions.